Hi, I'm Anthony Evans from Digital Puppets Animation Studio. In this video, we're going to be looking at the new face tool feature, and we're going to be looking at AccuFace and doing some facial capture with this character. So we've uh, created this uh, stylized character of Jack Black. I'm not going to go into the process of how we created this. We've made videos like that in the past. But I wanted to show that when you get to this stage and you've built a custom character from the base mesh, uh, one of the things that comes up is that the facial expressions um, and the facial morphs don't match up. When you've moved the face around quite a bit, you kind of lose some of those face shapes. So if we are to go to, let's do like mouth. It's just not working as it should be. So in this video, we're going to fix that and we're going to be using face tools to do so. And then afterwards, we'll be going through the facial profile editor to fix up anything else. Okay, so I'm going to remove the glasses. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to send this character to ZBrush using Face Tools. So we click on Face Tools here. Uh, we want to basically keep it on level 6, 2K textures, which will be enough. Uh, we want to keep the normal details. Uh, we want to keep all, oh, we want to send everything across because we're updating everything. So we're going to go, go Z. So now the character's loaded into ZBrush. So what we want to do is go to our Plugins tab. Go to ZBrush Face Tools, and I'm going to dock this over here so we've got access to everything. Um, there's a few things we want to turn on here. I want to turn on the diffuse so we can see the texture. I want to change this to a skin shade so it, it looks correct. And I'm going to turn off the detail layer because um, at this moment we're just really concentrating on doing the the expressions for the character. If we wanted to uh, work on the normal maps or maybe work on the shape of the face, we could do that, but I'm quite happy with how it's looking now. It's just the expressions and the wrinkle maps that I'm going to be concentrating on. I also want to turn on this update eyes, teeth and tongue because let's say we open the jaw, they're not going to move. But if we turn that on, they will move with it. So now uh, we're just going to go through um, the different facial expressions. We're going to go through these one by one and fix these up and make them work. So I'm going to uh, work with some reference images. So our first one is brow raise. We're not going to be able to get reference images for everything. We kind of may do with what we can find online and try and get them as close as possible. I mean, things like brow raise really and eye blinks and stuff like that. You can kind of work that out for yourself. But if we go to brow raise. Now we're going to go to Geometry and we're going to bring it down to Subdivision 1. So anything from Subdivision 2 upwards is going to be affecting your detail layer or your wrinkle maps. Whereas this is the base mesh that's going to be sent back to Character Create 4. So this is the one that we really want to uh, work on. Here, looking at the reference, it's not done a bad job with the brow raise. Um, let's turn it off and back on again. Have a look. I think maybe just needs to kind of raise the middle bit of the eyebrows a little bit. So we'll turn on symmetry. I'll move topology. Um, if the sizing is different in your ZBrush, uh, double click on dynamic for the brush tool. So now we're going to just move them up a little bit more and exaggerate them slightly. And for that, Expression, I think that's what we need. Next one, we're going on to I squint. And again, we're going to open up the reference. And again, it's not really too bad. Maybe I'm going to smooth these bits out here a little bit. But that's pretty good. I'm pleased with that. Again, not everything will need adjusting too much. Next one is mouth pucker. So I imagine this one is going to be quite far out. So this one I don't really have a reference for. There's a little bit of a pucker in here, but not too much. So I'm just going to have to kind of guess some of this one. But again, it, it does, a, it's getting there. It just needs cleaning up. So I'm just going to use the move topology tool and move these shapes around until I get something that I'm happy with. And generally, when I'm working in ZBrush, I'm really just kind of using uh, three tools. Move, move topology, and inflate. 
uh, the standard tool for painting on as well, and sometimes pinch, but it's really just mainly the move tools uh, that I use most of the time. So this is a stylized character, so you can go a little bit more extreme with some of the expressions if you want to as well. Um, so we've done mouth pucker, chin up. Again, he's got a beard on this one, so it's hard to actually um, see any difference here. So I think really it's just making sure that that lip doesn't come too high up. Okay, next one's eye blink. Uh, so I don't have a <clears throat> reference for eye blink. I'm quite happy with how they look. I'm just going to move top lids down a little bit tighter. And then in here we can go to the eyelashes. Just move these up into place. I don't think these are completely symmetrical, so we're going to have to do one side at a time. Okay, so I think I'm going to work on these ones a little bit more using the edit tools in iClone, but I'll do an okay job for now. Next one we're going to go to is draw open. Okay, so this one needs a lot of work. So we're going to open up the reference for draw open. Try and match to the reference as best we can. So we're going to go to sub tools and we're going to move around the lower teeth. We're now going to move on to brow drop uh, at the moment here. These eyebrows are very far down and probably a little bit too far down. Seems okay for now. No sneer. It's not done a bad job. Move down a little bit. Let's kind of smooth off this crease a little bit. We don't want that for no sneer. Mouth frown. Yeah, complete, uh, complete with that one. Okay, next is neck tighten. So obviously with the shape of this character, I don't think this one's going to really do too much. Oh no, so I'm going to ignore that one for now. And we're going to go to mouth smile. So with this one, um, we're just going to, we really want to kind of push the shape out of the mouth. All right, let's go back to subdivision one. Then it's moving on to the cheek raise. So cheek raise, looks pretty good. Maybe I'll push it up a little bit more. These cheeks up a little bit there. That's okay. And then we're going to go to brow compress. Not too worried about that. I think that's okay. Maybe bring it down a touch. What I'm going to do now is send this back to Character Creator 4. So we don't want to update the base mesh because we haven't done any work on any of the, on the base model. We've just been working on the expressions. And again, we don't want to do anything for the wrinkles. It is literally just the express more. So I'm going to send them all back and we'll take a look at how that's looking. Okay, so we've now brought the character back into Character Creator 4. Uh, we can go into the facial profile editor uh, where we can check some of the expressions now to see how they're looking. So we can have a look at the uh, jaw. You can see that's been now been updated. Same for smile and frown, and they're working pretty nicely with the uh, beard as well. The blinks still need a little bit of work. Um, we will update them in a while using the edit mesh. And if we check out the uh, facial expressions now, um, we can use dramatic mail and see how it's looking. You'll see here that. It's still not completely right. Uh, some of the uh, facial morphs are a little bit too exaggerated. A lot of it just needs to kind of dial in back a little bit. So the next stage of what we'll do is go through the facial profile and uh, look at each of the sliders, basically just decrease the amount that they're affecting the face. So yeah, if we go back into the facial profile editor and start at the top and start working our way through. So if you look at the eyebrow raise, you can see that's a little bit too much going on there. So we're going to bring it down to about around 70%. And we're going to update that, make sure it's press split part. And that's going to make it so it doesn't over exaggerate basically. So we're literally just going to go through every single one of these sliders now and just double check that they're doing exactly what we want them to do. Next, we move on to the brow drop. 
here I just want to make sure that um, when the eyes compress it doesn't overlap too much so I'm putting the compress on just to see when they drop how much they kind of both need to work together so I think yeah the brow drop will work around 70% as well and then the compress looks okay around 40-45% sort of mark the eye blinks need a little bit of work um, they just need dropping down closing a little bit more and then the eyelashes just moving into place so we'll do this with the edit mesh tool just simply move those bits in place that's looking a lot better I can still do a little bit of work but for this video they'll be okay for now I can go and tidy that up later and the, and the eyeballs probably need shrinking down a little bit but I just want to kind of go through the process of fixing these sliders you'll find things like I think the eye squints work pretty well eye wide isn't too bad either I wouldn't worry about any of the eye looks um, and then it's just going through each one and making sure it's not being pushed out too much and if you want to go into any more detail you could then go into either send it to ZBrush or send it uh, to like the edit mesh tool uh, to like refine them a little bit more so the mouth funnel uh, this one is one that we're gonna have to send to ZBrush this is quite an important one I find when doing facial capture it's probably a shape that you use quite a bit so what we're gonna do with this one is we can use a bit of the jaw open and maybe use a little bit of pucker just to kind of get us halfway there for the shape or almost there for the shape and then we're gonna use the go Z tool uh, to send that one back make sure we've got match ZBrush scale and then in here we're just going to fix that face shape and get that mouth funnel shape looking how we want it. Okay, so that one looks okay now. And then we're going to update that and split it. Here I actually accidentally pressed pucker. Ignore that. I'll, I'll fix this later on. Um, but then it's just a case now of going through each one again and you normally find that there's uh, around the same sort of percentage it's normally around if one's around 40 percent then the rest of them are normally similar but you'll see once all these are done uh the overall facial capture will look a lot better so i'm just going to speed through all these um because it's the same process for each one uh, there might be a little bit of there might be a little bit of update on edit mesh but that's about it now let's check it out and see how it looks. And as you can see here now, the um, the expressions look a lot more smooth uh, than they did originally. And you know we can always go back in and fine tune those a little bit more later on. But for now, I'm happy with how this looks, and I think I'll get a good facial capture out of this one. So the next stage now is to add in the wrinkle maps. So we're going to be using the face tool to send this character back into ZBrush. We're going to um, work probably just on the brow drop for now and then move on to the facial animation using AccuFace uh, later on in the video.